And, and if you feel crickiness on your hair, that means you have a high hair porosity. But if it's, if it's kind of straight, that means you have a low hair porosity. welcome back to my channel if today is your first time coming across my video my name is Titi and I'm your natural hair girl in today's video we're going to talk about hair porosity what is hair porosity so in order for you to grow your natural hair you need to know your hair porosity so hair porosity is how well your hair absorbs most so in the natural hair community there are three types of hair porosity we have the high we have the low and we have to meet it. So what is high hair porosity? High hair porosity means that your hair critical has large gap in allowing moisture into the hair is unable to retain the moisture that is able to penetrate the hair fiber. So because your hair criticals is large, it take in more moist and it also put out more moist. So for that case, you will mostly suffer from dry hair. Your hair will be dry. Low hair porosity means that the structure of your hair does not easily allow moisture to enter. So in a moisture, your hair needs food, your hair needs to eat. So because you have a low hair porosity, the structure of it does not allow moisture to enter easily. So your hair porosity is basically like this. It's close together. So in order for you to open it for food to enter, you need heat. For low hair porosity people, heat is your friend. You can use the heat cap. To kind of allow moisture to enter your hair you can also you when you pour your protein in it you can also use other heat metal but for the high hair porosity people heat is not your friend because your critical is open so it, it doesn't work for it for itself naturally so you do not need heat for low hair porosity pricing heat is your friend because your critical is closed so your hair needs food your hair needs to eat so the middle hair porosity means that the critical has less tightly bound so it's not it's not as the high it's not as the low so it's not why it's not it's not close i mean it's just fine it's okay so hair <coughs> hair porosity is mostly genetic it's something that you are born with some creators said that hair, hair porosity can change over time or depends the treatment that you give me i really don't know about that so how do i know that i have a high or low maybe medium hair porosity there are several steps for you to do the first test you could do is take a string of your hair scratch it in your hand and if you feel crickiness on your hair that means you have a high hair porosity but if it's if it's kind of straight that means you have a low hair porosity another method to use is the glass of water method pull a water in the glass take a string of your hair drop it in a glass of water once your hair floats that means you have a low hair porosity when it stops in the medium you have a medium hair porosity sorry middle if it if it sink that means you have a high hair porosity whatever question that you have concerning hair porosity leave it down below so i'll be able to respond in the next video but if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel so whenever i post a new video for you to get this one thank you Thank you for watching. Share the love. Love you. Bye-bye.